piping material specification this is one of the most important deliverable generated by piping team it becomes basis for so many other deliverable that is why this is really important so in this course which is 2.5 hours of duration we we are going to cover the elements of pms and we'll look into the most important input which is required to develop this document so let us see what we are going to cover in this uh, course first of all we'll look into the basic definitions of piping material specification we'll look into various segments what this pms is consists of all these segments we'll look into then we'll see what are the various inputs are uh, there to start developing this deliverable and we'll also see from where we'll get this in inputs so that we can start working on this uh, deliverable and the most important part is nomenclature how we define various pipe classes in a particular pms what are various configurations we can have so that we can recognize each and every pipe class so we'll look into more details we'll look into the five elements of pipe classes which is pt rating we we'll look into detail what is pt rating how it is defined how it is related with pms base material we we'll look into the basic things with respect to base material so that we can understand what kind of materials are there in any of the pms corrosion allowance we we'll look into a little bit more detail into this factor because this is the basis to define the thickness of uh, any pipe glass and end connections this is again a very important part we will uh, see what kind of end connections are there and how it is defined in the pms and how the nomenclature is uh, related to this thing then special requirement if any there will be so many pipe classes where there will be some uh, special requirements which has to be covered in nomenclature itself so that we can recognize if any special requirements are there in a particular pipe class or not then this is the fluid this is the basic input which is required to develop any pms for any process industries project so let us see what we are going to cover in this section this is most important because all the parameters which are required to develop a PN pms will be uh, coming from this deliverable so we'll be looking into fluid code what kind of services are there size ranges what kind of size ranges are applicable for a particular project fluid category this is again a very important section here we will look into various fluid categories so that we can understand how these fluids are categorized what is the hazardous uh, and what is uh, toxic or any other uh, criteria to define the fluids in a particular project we we'll look into each and every aspect how critical these fluids are we will categorize and we'll look into various aspects associated with those particular fluid risk then corrosion allowance again we'll look into a little bit more detail how this is uh, calculated how it is associated uh, with the, any of the project with any of the piping system equipment or any project life we'll look into more details we'll look into uh, basic things uh, basic chemistry behind calculation of corrosion allowance okay we'll look into various uh, laws associated with faraday's faraday laws we'll look into the corrosion current corrosion uh, density we'll look into a lot of things which are uh, really required to know how this corrosion allowance is calculated then we'll look into this splash guard requirement test media how the test media is defined for a particular project continuity strip requirements maximum temperature pressure operating temperature pressure base material so these are the things which are really required to define the basic requirement of a particular project so that we can start working on pms so this is the first part where we are going to understand the basic inputs and various elements of any pipe class so this is going to be very informative session and after this there will be few other parts where we will look into further details into each and every element of a particular pms so let us start uh, with this